Hi guys, this is Paula with Beatsaholic, and today we're going to take a close look of, uh, at Argo Studios' Tree of Life. I've created a sort of a witch um, theme here with Halloween coming up in the fall months right here at us. So I wanted to share this with you today. Um, this is the Tree of Life. It has the Celtic design. Very beautifully done. It can be worn several different ways, including on a fantasy necklace, if you by chance have one of those, either the own one or the one by um, Troll Beads. And then there's several out there that, that are from artesian brands. But um, it's really beautifully done. Close up here. And after I show you the bracelet, I'll show you the other ways it can be worn and I'll show it to you on a bangle. There is a hole through the middle here, which will fit, you know, most bracelets, and it'll fit bangles. Um, the hole through the top, if you want to wear it that way, will only fit on a bracelet or on a fantasy necklace. I don't believe it fits on the bangle that way, but I will check to make sure. Now for a close look at the bracelet I've created, we'll start on the end. All the glass beads are by Dream Glass Art out of Tawan. Beautifully done. Here's the Troll Beads with shoes. It's a cute little broom. It's from Ohm Beads. Another Dream Glass Art. This is the old original Luna from Ohm Beats. It's not available anymore. Um, they have the phases. If you like those, I mean, those are really pretty. The Gibbous is very close in size to this one. And, you know, of course, it's just missing the, the end because it's the Gibbous and this is the full Luna. Little feather. Also part of the Dirty Magic sets and then this really beautiful bead it's another dream glass see a little bit of sparkle shimmer in the bottom and this cute little girl is Argo Studios Cooking Witch she has her little cookbook with her little pot in front of her little spoon really beautifully done she sits well, threads behind the hair. Cute little witch's hat. I really like her. And then beside her is the mandrake root from Moon Beats. It's really, really cute. No witch's bracelet would be complete without a mandrake root. It's really adorable. There's another. Dream Glass Art, or Tree of Life. And what made me use the Tree of Life in a witch's theme is because, um, if you ever look at any, like, look up witch's themes, jewelry, and things like that, because I really like Halloween, so witch themes are my favorite. And, um, but this theme you see a lot in jewelry. So I thought it would be perfect to add with my Tree of Life, my little green witch, who is over here cooking up her healing potions. And I just thought it'd be cute. And then this right here looks very magical. This is another dream glass bead. I really love their glass beads. I love their bears. Love the brand. Um, and here, if, if you don't have this one and you like Halloween, you really need this bead. It's own beads, dirty magic. It's a must have, I think. Another gray shimmery bead from Dream Glass Beads. A little shroom from Home Beads. Part of the Dirty Magic collection. The Book of Spells is from Red Belly Frog. And you will see this this time of the year a lot from me. 
because it's one of my favorite beads. I love this bead. Um, I love the little frog foot sticking out the bottom, the little snake going through the front, the eye just kind of reminds me of Hocus Pocus. You know, the little book marker detailing on the top. On the back, you've got the witchcraft scent symbol and a little raven bird. Turn around here. Which is really cute. Then we have a little magical gold dust looking glass bead. Another one from Dream Glass. And of course, this little guy, Magic the Magic Frog. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> This was last year's Beat of the Month for October for Own Beats. He is adorable. Look at him from behind. How cute is this? I just love him. Here's another glass bead from Dream Glass Art. Last but not least is the Crystal Gypsy Crystal Ball from Red Belly Frog and it moves around. It has a nice bell rod through the middle, connects to the bottom, and you can move it around. It's a little ring, little ring details on the fingers. Look, here it is on the middle. Here it is on the index. Really cute. And the lock I went with was the troll beads, and um, it's a feathered wing on one side and a bat wing on the other. So let's go ahead and try this bead out on um, everything everywhere oh let's also look at it so I can show that it threads like this I'm using my camera to see as you can see it threads like this too so you can wear it either way which is a really cool design and if it's sitting on a fantasy necklace it's gonna sit like this and you can see photos on the blog um, Beesaholic.com of this design of this being on a fantasy necklace with some of the small troll bead stones. As you can see, it's really pretty. It's one of my favorite ways to wear it is on the a fantasy necklace. Sometimes I just wear this alone and with a with a stopper underneath to hold it up and um, kind of wear it like a Y chain, Y necklace. And I think it looks really good that way. You could probably use this one as a splitter. I haven't tried it. It has the holes in the top, bottom, and sides. So it would work as a splitter. So let's also look at it. I have a couple of beads here from Dream Glass in green that I picked out to put with. Now, what I was saying is you're not gonna be able to get it on this way. It's just not gonna work because of the length of it, but it fits this way on the bangles. So if you wanna wear it the other way, you're gonna to have to do that on a bracelet or on the necklace. But as you can see, these little fox. It's a really pretty design. Looks really pretty on the bangle. I chose to twist it. I was thinking more of along the lines of roots because you know you have a, the roots sometimes twist up. So I thought it would look good on a twisted bangle instead of just a plain bangle. Along with the fox spacer from Troll Beads, some more dream glass, and then lightning buds, I believe this one's called. It's a very tight um, stopper and I use it quite often, the spacer. As you can see, it's really nice looking. The designs on the top and bottom. And even the Celtic knots in the middle. Really beautifully done. This is the top of the tree, and this is your rooted part of the tree for the tree of life. And that is all for today. I wanted to share this bead with you. I will have more Argo Studios here on YouTube and on Beatsaholic blog, Beatsaholic.com soon. So make sure you check back and check those out. I'm always adding stuff daily, to, almost daily to the blog. So just, you know, 
subscribe. Subscribe here on YouTube and so you can see my latest videos. And be sure to subscribe on the blog and I'll send you know the blog emails directly to your email. Or you can just follow me um, either way. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this close-up view of the Argo Studios. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.